Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to diesel a pellet rifle which means when you break down the barrel like this what you do is put diesel down in the chamber with the piston you just put a few drops of it in there and what that does is whenever the pressure inside this builds up because that piston slamming into the front it'll ignite the oil that's in it and cause an explosion inside the chamber the same as a rifle this is a dangerous thing to do don't do it you don't need to do it i'm just doing it just so i can see what kind of feet per second that we can get out of the chronograph here that i just purchased from dieseling a pellet rifle first we'll start out by doing five control shots which means shooting us through the chronograph five times and taking the numbers we get and getting the median on what is the average that this gun shoots then after that we'll do five shots with dieseling and see how that does compared to shooting it regularly without having any oil in it what we'll be using today is the three-in-one oil just regular three-in-one oil you can get it everywhere walmart home depot lowe's anywhere it doesn't really matter and we'll also be using crossman premier pellets which are the cheapest ones you can find i bought those at walmart for six dollars for a pack of 500 you can't beat that just go to walmart and get them i was thinking about posting these for sale online but you can't find them anywhere less than 15 dollars a can online and that's a ripoff so that's why i haven't posted any links to these or anything because i'm not in the business of ripping people off online because it's 15 dollars a can when you can go to walmart and get it for six dollars just go to walmart and get it for six dollars all right but first let's start out with the control shots what we'll do, we'll set this up in the camera, aiming at the front of the chronograph where it has the FPS counter. And then we'll do five shots. I'll write them down. And after I write them down, we'll do the math to see what's the average this thing shoots. And I forgot to mention, what we'll be using is the Silver Kodak, which is this rifle. I think that's the name of it. But I think it claims to shoot 900 feet per second in 22 caliber, which is also what we'll be shooting is 22 caliber. But it's going to be less than that, obviously, because it's lead. It's not PBA pellets which shoot faster because they're lighter. These are actually heavy. And on it, we just have a cheap bar sky just picked up to test them out to see how they work. But with this rifle, I mean, this scope's pretty useless. The rifle's pretty useless. It, you can't get a 10 inch group with this thing at 20 yards. It's that bad. I don't recommend this gun. And I also don't care if anything happens to it because it's not good. But do not do this at home when we do the dieseling that's all i can say don't do it stay safe don't do that because it is dangerous because you're causing an explosion in the chamber of something that wasn't meant to have an explosion in the chamber so now let's go see how fast this shoots just shooting regular pellets through it doing nothing to the rifle okay guys this is a spring piston rifle just so you know it's not a gas piston or anything it's just a cheap spring piston rifle let's do our first five shots and then we'll write those down And we are doing the shots from less than a foot away. So here we go. 637. 639. 640. 647 639 all right so we did our math and it came out to 640.4 is the average feet per second of this rifle at five shots 640.4 feet per second now we're going to try out the dieseling and see how much faster that goes than 640.4 feet per second all right so let's find out how fast this gun will shoot with dieseling compared to it regularly at 640 feet per second all right now let me show you how dieseling works what you do you break your barrel you put your pellet in and then you take your three-in-one oil and you put a few drops inside the piston Right, there's a few drops now let's see what it'll shoot all right guys here we go first shot 684 feet per second all right second shot 
640. Third shot. 647. All right, fourth shot. 643. Fifth and final shot. 653. All right, so our average came out to 653.4, which is 13 feet per second faster than without it. That's kind of slow. It, this could have just been lubing the piston up and nothing else. It could have not ignited in the chamber. So we're gonna try something different. This time we're gonna try out some rim oil and see how good it shoots with that. But before we get to that, this did have one shot that kind of caught my attention. The first shot was 684 feet per second. That's a lot better than any other shot we've had the entire time, but it was only the first shot. So maybe we put too much in it, I don't know. We're just gonna try out the rim oil. It should do better, we'll see, we'll figure that out. But first, I'm gonna shoot 10 rounds out of this to make sure all that oil's out of there before we start shooting with the rim oil so we get an accurate result. All right guys, I'm back to you in a hurry because something happened. I, when I was going to shoot this, when I shot the first round, it did, you know, regular round, nothing happened. Second round, I shot through it without putting any more of this in. It actually ignited, and I, so I started running through the chronograph after that. On my third shot, this is what I shot. 929 feet per second with the diesel league. 929 feet per second we must have been just putting too much of this in so i'm gonna have to do this a different way and pretty much fill it up shoot it through here we'll only save the times where it ignites which is kind of cheating we're not doing five rounds it'll probably be more like 10 so we can get the accurate numbers because if it shoots lower than 700 feet per second that way we know that the oil isn't igniting so we're going to re-go over this i'm going to save that number and then we'll go from there and see how much faster we can shoot using this stuff again because it actually ignited this time all right guys let's see what it does Woo! 950 feet per second holy 950 feet per second all right here we go another shot oh my god 980 feet per second that is getting it guys that's as fast as a 22 lr that's how fast that's traveling and i have not put any more oil in during this the only oil that's in it is the leftover oil from what i put in it during the first test 986 feet per second oh my god <laughs> All right, this could be our final shot. Let's see what it does. Nine hundred and seventy-two feet per second. All right, guys. This time we came out to an average of nine hundred and sixty-three feet per second, and I never loaded any of this in during that last five shots. I never put any of it in. It must have been just what was left over in the gun that's igniting. Maybe we were, we were putting too much in it. Apparently. But did you guys start seeing the smoke coming out the end of the barrel where it's igniting and catching on fire inside that chamber? So I've gotten seven shots since I filled it up last. I never put any of this in the past seven shots. The first shot is when I noticed it did it. The second shot is when I showed you at the beginning how it shot 929 feet per second. All right, so here's the numbers I got from shooting it. I did not put any more oil in it or nothing. The first shot was 929, the second shot was 950. The third shot was 980. The fourth shot was 986. And the fifth shot was 972 feet per second, which means your average shot in feet per second is 963, which comes out to 323 feet per second faster than without dieseling. 323 feet per second faster. There's some pellet rifles that shoot that fast, period. We added a whole other pellet rifles worth of power into that by dieseling. That is crazy. A thousand feet per second is what this gun shoots dieseling. So we went from 640 feet per second on average to 963 feet per second on average. And our high was almost 990 feet per second. And I, like I said, I only filled this up doing the first five shots that I showed you and I haven't filled it up since. That is freaking nuts.
So dieseling does work. A thousand feet per second is literally what a 22 LR shoots. And I had, like I said, I haven't put any of this in in the past seven shots, and it's actually went a thousand feet per second nearly every shot after that. It actually went up the more we shot it. All right, let's destroy this bottle. I already got it dieseled up. It's ready to go. We're just going to shoot it from about two feet away, see what happens, how much damage it does. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. That is freaking nuts. It freaking completely destroyed this bottle. Dang. Like, hook. look at the hole. Both sides. It ripped it in half. A pellet. Like I said, I'm using lead pellets. Holy crap. It literally ripped the bottle in half. Like, completely in half. Like, <laughs> I could stick my hand all the way through the bottle. Okay, I've never seen a wound like that from a pellet rifle in my life. It like obliterated it. It, <laughs> it covered my phone. It splashed back everywhere. Oh my gosh. It really, it did, holy crap, it did some damage. We'll see what ram oil does in it. We'll, we'll do five shots. I'll do one squirt and constantly shoot them through and see how it works. All right, now a shot of this. All right, here we go. 555. All right. 904. 963. 778. It's already dropping down. 720. It's already dropping. All right, so the 3-in-1 oil seems to do better than that. That, that ran out very quick for how much. I put in it. All right, so the three in one did better than the rim oil did in the test. So dieseling does work. We all we literally got to a thousand feet per second, eleven feet per second slower than a thousand doing three in one. So do not do this at home. I was just testing it because I got a chronograph. I always wanted to know how fast it actually went when you do this because I have done it before. Don't do it though. Just don't. But. A thousand feet per second out of a cheap rifle too. I mean, like this thing is really cheap. This is a crappy rifle. And we were shooting as fast as a 22 LR with a crappy rifle doing dieseling. But like I said, the way this works is the oil's in the chamber. And whenever that compression happens, it causes a lot of heat and causes expansion and an explosion in the chamber, shooting the bullet out just like an actual bullet, like a rifle, like a cartridge. It works the same way a cartridge does, except you're using this as a fuel instead of gunpowder or black powder or smokeless powder, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to wrap it up there and get all this put together. And hopefully this turns out to be a really good video because I've really enjoyed doing this one. It was really cool to see how fast it actually shot, which is nuts, a thousand feet per second. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm wanting to hit a thousand subscribers here in the next month or two. I'm going to constantly be uploading. I want to get to a thousand because that's a goal of mine, a short term one. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. I have the worst outros on YouTube. I swear to God, this, this is not even a joke. They're, they're freaking terrible. I have the literally the worst outros on YouTube.